Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how to add a slideshow to your card website very easily. So first you need to tap on this plus button right here and tap on slideshow. But to add a slideshow, slideshow to your website, you need card pro. So you need the pro version, the premium version of card. Now you can um, try card pro free for seven days, but uh, after that you pay $90 per year. So that's yeah, really cheap actually. So if you want Card Pro, please yeah, click the link in the description. That means a lot. So tap on this uh, yeah on this slideshow button, and this adds yeah a gray um, yeah I would call it gray element. So first you need to tap on add. As you see, delete this, and here you can upload your image. So let's do that right now. As you can see, I have the first uh, image of a potato uploaded, but let's add more. So I can do that by tapping on add, and then once more on add. So let's add yeah, a total of three images by tapping on this one, then upload, and then I'm uploading those, those images. So let's do that right now. As you can see, I have uploaded a total of three images right now. And yeah, I can change a lot of settings right now. So let's first tap on the first image and let's call this the alt text let's call this uh, uh, potato one let's call this potato two and this you can guess the already potato three all right so now i know yeah which image i'm editing so let's tap on potato one position i can change it to the top left if i want to but let's keep it centered get a motion i think left is really nice so when um you know when the image changes so when it switches from three to one it kind of moves to the left so i think that's very nice i'm selecting that with error yeah on every image motion left and also what is one motion left just like this and i can add a transition so it can crossfade or fade but let's do crossfade i think that's nice and here we can change the delay let's change that to maybe two seconds or maybe one second yeah, maybe one second that's okay now let's do a bit more actually <laughs> yeah let's do three damn it's hard to select three. Oh my god yeah finally three and let's change the duration to 1.5 i think it's, that's great and uh, order i can change that to random default but let's keep it on default so it goes like from one to three to two to three and here i can change the appearance of the images so i can change the width like this um but let's keep it 15. damn this is quite annoying <laughs> all right like this I can change the height, I can change the shape, so rectangle to a circle if I want to, but let's give it a rectangle, and I can change the corner rounding, so I can make this a bit more smooth if I want to, and let's keep it, or let's add, make it one, the margins, I recommend you keeping it on auto, um, and I can change the transparency color if I want to, but let's not do that, here I can change the animation, so for example, let's do, um, zoom in maybe i think that's nice intensity max maybe and let's preview anima the animation by tapping on this button just like this and let's change this to two seconds is great i think why you should satisfy you tap on done right here and you can save your site by tapping on publish a site then publish changes and now it loads And then tap on view site. And after two seconds, as you can see. And this, you know, this is the motion what you see. So it kind of moves to the left. You can change it, of course, to the right or however you like. This looks quite good in my opinion. So it goes quite fast. So I can change it very easily by tapping again on the slideshow. And then tap on those now on the slideshow uh, icon. And let's go a bit down. And the duration, let's make it like three seconds as well. Tap on done. Publish your site. Publish changes. 
let it load, view side, and as you can see, now it's three seconds per image. I think that's better. Like this. Yeah, I like that a lot more. So this is really nice. You can make the images bigger if you want to. You can add a link to the images as well. Um, you can really uh, play around with everything and you can be really creative with this as well. So that is really nice. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, just ask them uh, in the comments down below. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. And please subscribe to the channel if yeah, this video helps you. Bye bye.